Have you been looking for a nutritious cover crop that performs well in wetter, more acidic soils? Maybe a crop that beneficial insects, deer, turkey, and all kinds of livestock love? If so, I have the crop for you today. I'm Rob from Dowdle Family Farms, and I'm on a mission to grow more of our livestock feed on our farm while improving the health of our soils. And it can be quite a challenge to improve wetter clay soils that lean more acidic, at least here in Mississippi. Especially when we look at winter cover crops where we get a lot of rain January through April. In this video, I want to introduce you to Balanza clover. And the particular variety that I'm growing is the fixation Balanza clover. Now, fixation is what I'm growing because it's easy to get. And most of this information will be applicable to all Balanza clovers. Before we get started, however, let me mention some of the characteristics of these Balanza clovers, and then we'll look at how we use it on our farm. Now, Balanza clover grows natively in Turkey. It has an upright growth pattern, and in my experience, it can grow from two and a half to three feet tall. From a distance, the white flowers may be mistaken for white clover, but the flowers of Balanza can also have a pinkish hue to them. I'm colorblind and I don't see shades very well, so take that description for what it's worth but it doesn't spread like stolen like your white Dutch clovers do. So I try to be careful when I do graze it. Now, I generally do not graze it in shorter vegetative states, though from what I read, you can do that. Honestly, I haven't had my act together much to be able to do that. Let me explain. In Mississippi, we tend to seed clovers two times in the year. Ideally, we plant them in the fall, anywhere from late August into November. In my zone, September 15th to October 15th is usually the recommended time frame. But that's based on soil temperature and not on soil moisture. In fact, last fall we had a drought from mid-July on into December. Therefore, fall planting is often difficult due to soil moisture. But the other time that we can plant clovers is when the ground is ready for frost seeding. Essentially, you plant uh, on as close to a bare soil as you can. You overgraze your pastures if you can, but you broadcast the seed uh, and as the crust of the soil freezes and thaws over and over, the seed is sucked into the soil. In Mississippi, our soils generally do not freeze much like this, but we can still get some decent results from January through March, depending on the weather once again. We do not have clovers growing reliably in the fall and winter, either because we plant too late because of the weather. Then in February or January, I'll see a little bit of it coming up in our cover crop fields or pastures. Then suddenly, like now, we have just a flush of clover everywhere, and we don't know what to do. So typically by March 1st, we're grazing our red field uh, that has a durana clover along with fescue and other stuff in it. And if we're going to try to graze something like this, it takes moving our cows across the road into these cover crop fields to graze the balanza clover. We get real sudden flushes, and in fact, I was mowing under our pig fences this week and did not realize that this Balanza clover behind me had germinated and grew that well until I was actually mowing these fence lines. All that to say, I read that it keeps tillering uh, when it's grazed in the vegetative state, but I just don't have much experience with that due to how I've managed it in the past. What I can tell you is that I strip grazed steers over here on a mix of fixation, red clovers, ryegrass, cereal rye, and chicory. It really grew quickly enough for me to graze it within 10 days or so, and then for them to graze it again. To fully appreciate the value of Balanza clover though, let me describe a couple different parts of our farm and our strategies to improve the pastures there. Our best pasture is, like I mentioned, what we call the red field. It's a perennial pasture of tall fescue. Over the last five or six years, I've begun spreading Durana clover seed throughout that pasture, along with some chicory, uh, and I've tried to keep the Boston plantain growing well as too. But Durana clover is an improved variety of white stick clover that spreads by Stalins. I've just published another video on that and I'll try to remember to link it as well. But we do have other fast pastures with decent fescue stands as well. The Durana clover is a really great clover to mix in with our fescues because as it becomes established, it'll complete, compete well with the fescue and the weeds and the grazing pressure in the spring. Because in the spring, we start grazing in late February to mid-March, depending on the weather. I often move the cows through the paddocks quite rapidly, and I'm looking to give them the best forages of our younger grasses and clovers and forbs, like the plantain and the chicory. Then I move them to the next paddock. 
in a six to 10 week period, when there's a lot of grass and a lot of clover growing, we may have the cows cycling through different paddocks in the red field from two to five times. But it's normally for very short periods of time. In fact, the bulk of the forage that the cows eat during this time uh, is the clover that is regrowing. Now this is not high density grazing, rather it's dense, low density grazing to allow the cattle to capitalize on that clover and to recover some of the weight they've lost in the winter from feeding hay. So in that setting, I'm not sure the, the Balanza clover is the best clover to intercede here. The Durana clover regrows rapidly from the Stalins and it produces more biomass from that regrowth. Balanza clover, on the other hand, produces a lot of biomass because it grows tall and thick with abundant forage. It competes well in height with cereal rye and ryegrass and those taller greens. There are two places where I really like growing the Balanza clover. First is in the fields like this one where I'm planting annual cover crops. It has a longer period of time between grazing cycles, a month or two sometimes. As the whole cover crop field grows, so does the Balanza clover. Now, in the field over here where I grazed the pigs, we had some hairy vetch, cereal rye, ryegrass, chicory, and the Balanza clover, and I grazed it hard. And like I said, 10 days later, it was ready to graze again, though ideally it would have been given another two to three weeks. But then I was trying to set that regrowth back so that I could plant our warm season cover crop mixes. After planting that crop, I mowed it fairly close to the ground, and the Balanza clover is regrowing pretty well. Second, in areas where we don't have a good stand of pasture grasses, like this one, and south of Dowdle Road, we're using Balanza clover. Many of these fields are wet, and again, they lean acidic. If we grow the Balanza clover and let it go to seed, it'll reseed itself every year. We can still graze it, but we do need to pull the livestock off of it at seed setting time so that it produces enough hard seed to regrow the subsequent years. In fact, it's such a prolific reseeder that supposedly you can let the fixation brand go to seed once every five years and it'll provide a sufficient seed bank on a grazing operation to regrow every year. Now, uh, the fixation can produce up to two and a half tons of dry matter per acre, up to 200 pounds of actual nitrogen per acre. I doubt I'll get that, but compared to a lot of the white clovers, it has a more of a deeper taproot type profile that can mine nutrients deep in the soil. Of course, this also helps with water infiltration as well. In a mix, I do not like reducing the seeding rate of Balanza clover. Like many clovers, it's not very competitive with other plants. <clears throat> so I keep it at five to eight pounds per acre. However, if I'm planting the ryegrass or the cereal grains or something like that, I'll reduce those other crops by 75% of their typical rate and the Balanza clover competes relatively well. Of course, I graze Balanza clover with cows and pigs and they all love it. Uh, supposedly it's a nine bloating legume for cows and it's a great feedstock for pigs. But remember, you need a lot of different high protein forages for pigs uh, to help balance out the different amino acids. So I have Balanza clover in a mix with winter peas. You can see those out here as well. Uh, some cereal rye and brassicas. If you have some wet acidic soils, I encourage you to give it a try. I have found it to be a wonderful crop for our winter forages and plan to plant more of it this winter. I hope you have a great day. Take care and we'll see you next time.